Hello, we're joined by Luke Norbury of Home Instead. Uh, for those people, and one would suspect quite a few, what is Home Instead? What, what do you do? First and foremost, we provide support and care to people who want to live in their own homes. It's mostly older people, admittedly, but we do also work with younger people who need support due to either physical disabilities or, or learning disabilities. And we aim to be as flexible as possible. We, we match somebody up who can provide the support in the way that person wants. But probably equally importantly, they can get on with that person as well uh, right. and, and build a relationship over time, get to know them. Our caregiver gets to know them, therefore can tailor the service to, to meet their needs the way they want them rather than the way they feel like delivering them. I suppose one time in, in somebody's life, you'll probably come across that crossroads where you're going to have to think about a nursing home, but instead this is keeping that person in their home, in their natural surroundings. Absolutely, and that's that's where the name comes from, home instead. Um, so many people who aren't familiar with the care sector because they've never had reason to be mm -hmm. um, think a natural progression for somebody as they, as they get older is to start looking at, at care homes or nursing homes. Sure, sure. In many circumstances, it's it's just not necessary, and I'm sure the individuals involved don't really want to to consider that either. Um, and and home instead provides support from an hour a week to 24 hours a day to to enable people to stay at home and live as independently as they possibly can. So why did you choose to do this? I chose to do this because I suppose I had a, a point in my life where I'd been working in the finance sector, and I just felt. Although I was earning a living, I wasn't getting anything out of it personally. I wasn't getting job satisfaction out of it. I, I suppose I had one of those those moments where you just kind of take a step back and, and think... You, you found know, yourself. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Midlife crisis, some people would say. <laughs> um, so I bought a motorbike <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> and then realised actually that wasn't going to solve my problem. And I thought, you know, where what am I doing? Where am I going with my, my career? And did a, a lot of kind of self-analysis or navel gazing as some people might call it and realized that I just wanted to work with people a lot more than I had been doing in finance and at the same time due to some personal circumstances became a little bit more aware of the care sector and realized that actually the provision was in in some areas pretty poor to be to be blunt mm -hmm. and investigated more met a, a gentleman called Trevor Brocklebank who runs home instead Senior Care UK because we are part of a franchise network and, and realised that it was something I really wanted to get involved in and you know could earn a living which you know, everybody needs to do but also make a difference at the same time and get personal reward and satisfaction from it. You say franchise, sometimes people go... <gasps> Franchise. Um, it's, 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 <laughs> this this is not kind of fast food joint where you know you get fast care. Is it? <laughs> it, it it's completely different to what you would get in, in a nursing home. I mean, presume you get a lot more value for your money compared to a nursing uh, home care home. Yeah, and I think I think the key thing about home care that people maybe haven't considered before is that it's tailored to to your needs, which does mean that. It can change over time as your needs change. Yeah. If you think about residential care, it, it's all or nothing. You're either going to a care home or, or you're not. Sure, sure. Um, whereas with home care, as I mentioned, you can start with an hour a week for maybe just those couple of tasks that are a little bit difficult and also at the same time get some company from the person that's helping you with those tasks and build up over time. You know, initially it could be shopping, then it could be that. Um, maybe struggle to have a bath or you worry about slipping whilst having a sure. shower and somebody can be there for that and, and it grows over time. So, so unlike care homes, I presume that you get to work alongside people's budgets rather than a set menu of, as it was, you know, so that's your tariff, you know, take it or, or leave it. Absolutely, and we, we start by having quite an in-depth conversation with potential client and, and their family if it's appropriate to establish what their, their needs are and build a, a detailed plan of how we're going to support that individual and give them what they want and make sure we don't give them something they don't want, which is just as important, really, because yeah. we want to help people live independently also within within their budgets, which in this day and age is, is really important. And by working closely with them and listening to what they actually want, we can deliver what they want. So are you looking for volunteers all the time? Because obviously you can't do this all by yourself, can you? Absolutely. I mean, we, we wouldn't call them volunteers. We recruit people and pay them to deliver our service um, right. on Home Instead's behalf. And we actually call them caregivers. 
it's what I suppose might be referred to as home care assistants or care workers. But oh, right, yeah. We actually use the, the term caregiver because we work very hard at finding people who, yes, they want to work in this sector, but they also have a caring nature. So they are actually, you know, giving, giving. something of themselves at the same time. And that recruitment process is quite a tough one, actually. We're very selective about the people uh, that we employ because at the end of the day, they're the ones that are seeing the clients on a daily basis and and make the difference to the to the client. So we have to have the right people. But yes, we are absolutely always looking for those people that feel the same way as us, really, yeah. want, want to make a difference. It must be very, very rewarding for those people as well. We do find that, although obviously it, it is paid employment, there's certainly people who work for us who... I think they would carry on doing it whether we paid them or not, to be right, honest, because they build a relationship with yeah. their clients. You know, they, re- they really enjoy what, what they do. I'm sure they'd be the first people to admit that at times, you know, it, it can be hard work, obviously, but, hey, you know, most jobs are. And so um, I suppose you, you look at those individuals as well and say, you know, what kind of skills they have. Often a concern, people, is that they need experience or qualifications to do this kind of work. Don't get me wrong, we definitely value experience and qualifications from working elsewhere in the care sector, but it's not a requirement. What we would encourage people to do is have a conversation with us and share with us what experience they do have, because very often it's really valuable experience, but not in a professional sense. So they may have cared for a family member or, or a friend. And that is, is just as relevant as, you know, maybe having some experience of, of working elsewhere in the care sector, in a care home or in childcare. It is the qualities of the individual that we're looking for that really make the difference to the, to the clients. And we do provide really quite extensive training to make sure that the other boxes are, are ticked as well so that people feel comfortable in delivering our service on our behalf. And also, obviously, the client uh, has confidence that that person is is trained and, and fully equipped to provide the service to them as well. So how do people get in touch for any aspect, really, of the business? I, I think the best way is to, to pick up the phone, give us a call. You can visit our, our website, homeinstead.co.uk, or drop us an email, york at homeinstead.co.uk. But really, it's best to start with a conversation, so so yeah. phone us on 01904 690 884. Lovely. Uh, Luke, it's been brilliant to speak to you, and wish you all the success with Home Instead. Thank you.